Parking continues to be an issue for Carroll County residents. News 18's Holly Campbell has more on the damage from the flooding in Delphi and Pittsburgh and how long officials expect high water to stay around. As the Deer Creek continued to rise throughout the night, this became this. Uh, the water did crest over the top of the levee uh, last night about 10 o'clock. Uh, we did get some lowland flooding down there. The Deer Creek crested at 15.2 feet. The Wabash River was expected to crest at 25 feet above normal level. For that reason, residents in areas along Deer Creek and the Wabash River were asked to evacuate Friday. Carroll County EMA's Corey Kokenauer says as the water continued to rise, it caused problems in Carroll County. We had an agriculture levy uh, fail last night. We had a breach in it. It's about a 15-foot wide gap. Uh, that area will probably take at least through the week, if not a little longer, as there's only uh, three river pumps down there to pump that out. As for the rest of the water flooding parts of Pittsburgh and Delphi, Kokenauer says experts are expecting the water to stay around for about a week. He says crews are working hard to pump as much water away from homes as possible. Fortunately, the, the creek itself crested and is on the on the downward swing now, so we're able to bring in pumps and start mitigating some of that water that's coming in still. In response to increased worries of flooding Friday, Red Cross volunteers set up a shelter. Kokenauer says at least six people took advantage of a dry place to rest. He says all found places to stay and the shelter closed, but crews were still on hand Saturday. Today, I know they've already been back out giving cleanup supplies to people. Uh, it was my understanding they're even bringing like bottled water and some stuff up for individuals as well. Kokenauer says if your home has been affected by the flood, it's important to repair any damage as soon as possible. Kokenauer says mold can get into the workings of your home and be very dangerous. He says if you can't afford to hire a contractor, the Red Cross does have cleanup kits available. Holly Campbell, News 18.